mean, we could try and fight her, but I don't think that's going to end up well. The people since um, are, well, obviously shaken up, are beginning to panic and they're screaming for you guys to help them and save them. To kill the demons who, well, obviously murdered a lot of them and did so much. They're panicking and they're scared, they're begging for help. Wait, I'm um, confused about what's exactly going Are they asking for help from the one from before? From you guys. One? Well, she is a demon, so they're obviously playing to you guys for help. Well, to she, save them. Well, I guess I'm gonna basically go up to them and attempt to calm them down. Which role would that be? Uh, let's see. She's got one arm. <coughs> hmm? No, she does. Oh, uh, she there's. Oh, I'm just slow down. Let's go with persuasion. One of them's holding right. a bow down, and the other one's uh tucked behind her back. Hang on, we rolling. Oh, the perspective is so weird. There we go. Yeah. Uh, well, you try to calm them down so they don't exactly go into a frenzy and a panic, but uh, they, they're still pleading for help for you to save them, obviously. Okay, so you see, the thing is, I'm in the middle of a bunch of... Nice for well, they're... character. Yeah, um... Uh. Eris is gonna turn towards a person. Basically, she just went into that burning building to help, didn't she? Yep, and she got uh, hurt for it. Basically, she's gonna cross her arms and go, you know, maybe we should talk outside the village. My mission is to stay here. I'm going nowhere. <sighs> You're causing issues, you know. They're scared. Their mental health is of no concern to me, only their well-being. I gathered that from what you put yourself through. Hmm. Let's see. The reinforcements oh. will be here soon. You should leave if you don't wish to die. Reinforcements? From what? I am not at liberty to disclose that. Well, there's no point in leaving if we don't know who it is. Suit yourself. But if uh, the reinforcements see you, and I am ordered, I will kill you all. Hmm. <sighs> I see. This is becoming bothersome. Still, you... My mission is to secure this uh, location. If you are here, that means I have not done my job. If you wish to stay, to stay I will have no choice but to fight you. See you. Right, so what are you guys doing? I guess we're leaving. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell, basically, I've had enough. I'm basically gonna tell, like, the people, everybody else, Alicia, and the two clients, to take the people away while I deal with her. Wait, so we're gonna fight her? No, I'm gonna hold her off. I told you, take the people away. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm giving you an order. Now hurry. Bitch, you're not my leader. I'm gonna look to Adam. What do you think? <laughs> Oh, fuck it, we're taking them. I've had enough of this shit. Fine. Um, I'm gonna quickly cast um, Firewall in between the Oni and the people. As you do, she raises her hand. Reverse. As, by the way, if she's did got... Did she just counterspell me? She did. Nope. By the way... If she's got a hand extended, I am literally going to try using that as an opportunity to body float for her. Nice. Well, you definitely succeed. Using Gordon's training. Ah, uh, all that training. Right, so what happens? What do you do? Essentially, she's going to dash up suddenly to her, grab her arm, and she's going to try flipping her over and onto the ground while holding her arm. Uh, you see that her uh, eyes go wide with surprise as you so brazenly uh, do such a reckless feat and you manage to catch her off guard your attack indeed succeeds and she ends up on the on the ground with my bonus action I'm actually gonna use a talisman and paste the shield on top of her like cage I'm using it so like pressing her down with it uh, instead of uh, doing anything to resist she just says release suddenly the wall of fire that you made, uh, uh, Lucy, begins to shapeshift and turns into a dragon made out of fire, 
and it charges uh, to attack you, Iris. Well, fuck that, I'm releasing concentration on the wall. Sadly, that spell is no longer under your control. If well, it's at least it's not attacking the villagers. Good luck, Iris. Yeah, if it's um, fire base, then I have a good chance of avoiding it, at least. Right, so you want to avoid it then? Yes. You do not even have to roll. Because the, fa the dragon doesn't even <coughs> try to attack you. Instead, it slams into your wall and completely obliterates it. Leaving the demon to freely get back up. Um, well, I'm can still I grappled with him, notice... <laughs> Can I notice the dragon and dispel it? Oh yeah, the dragon's already gone after it hit her. Oh, fair enough, then I don't care. Um, essentially, yeah, hoping that you're directing the villages to stay close to us. Uh, some of them listen uh, to you, some of them the start the running in different directions trying to, to save the their skills. Uh, can I roll persuasion to get them to stay close to us because we obviously know what Go we're ahead. doing and they might explode? Go ahead. Um, oh fuck, I have zero in this. Uh, I just... Can I have advantage because I literally saw a bunch of people explode because they weren't yes, careful? You can. And yes, that is actually good enough because guess what? When you're standing there with a huge tower shield and next to you is Klein in big ass fucking armor with a big ass fucking halberd, people will fucking listen. So yeah, basically, um, I'm telling them to help us untie more of the villagers and to stay fucking close to us in case stuff starts going <laughs> up again. And guess again, what? I can Considering put these people are family and all that, they're obviously gonna stay there and help out if you tell them to, so yeah. Alright, good. So everybody's starting to get released. Alicia, is there something you want to do? Nah, Alicia is like basically he like helping out and yelling at people to move to move because she want to get wants to get out of here. Right. In that case, uh, the demon in front of you is focused in fo is focused entirely on you, Iris, <coughs> and she wants again chance rearm. Her bow disappears and is instead um, replaced by a long naginata and a sword and then she gets ready to charge you it's your move oh me yep that cool i'm going to spend one key in order to activate where is it patient defense so she's getting on the defensive <laughs> and essentially i'm gonna basically gonna get back into the distance and attempt to kick her away and that's all non-lethal, by the way. Okay. Uh, you see that even though your attacks are not that powerful, uh, which with each attack her body flinches almost a little bit too much. It seems that the wounds you saw on her body on her body earlier are definitely playing uh, a part in this. She seems to be more banged up than she is letting come. But you can definitely tell, you've uh, had quite a lot of extensive training in this regard. You know when somebody is pushing themselves and she is definitely doing that right now. Plus keep in mind that she earlier got stabbed through the gut and that wound is still bleeding, it wasn't treated. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, what's your AC? My AC is 16, Kennedy. Uh, I thought you were uh, fighting defensively. Oh, uh, on patient offense, I gain dodge and attacks have disadvantage against me and I have advantage on dex. Gotcha. So her attacks are at a disadvantage, right? Yes. Right, let's see. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, two of her attacks managed to hit you. Uh, she thrusts her spear forward first of all, and then quickly uh, closes the distance even more with a few quick sword slashes. You manage to avoid most of the hits and blows coming for you. She is like a tornado of death, hitting you from all sorts of different angles extremely quick. However, you're not um, a stranger to speed like this, you're used to it. Not uh, when somebody is using a weapon, more hand to hand. But your uh, training has definitely begin, uh, began to pay off. There was a time where you wouldn't even be able to see attacks like this. 
However, some of her attacks eventually begin to overwhelm you. You know it's a pattern. It's like a game of chess. She is basically uh, forcing you to maneuver in a way where she can trap you and uh, hit you no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. You take a total of 14 damage from her attacks. Iris is smiling a bit at this. She's actually having kind of uh, a bit of fun. But at this point, I am... Uh, as you seem like you're enjoying yourself, you see a strained expression on your opponent's face. It seems like she took, uh, took that like mocking. Her eyes begin to flare up and you see that her horns from pitch dark black are actually starting to turn a little red. Uh, please don't piss her off. She's gonna go into a rage. <laughs> um, do I have a way to say that in your head? <laughs> no, I don't. So I just yell, don't piss her off, she'll go into a rage. I, I bet Morgana knows that I'm just having fun. <laughs> uh, but yes, next is my t I suspect we're going back and forth here, yeah? Uh, inside you, even though Morgana, Morgana for some reason cannot help you, you realize that, again, Armoros has a thumb in this right now. Uh, you can sense that she is actually super excited because for some reason she very much relates to this uh, demon in front of you and she actually wishes she could fight her. Nice. Alright, can use one more point on patient defense, but I'm also using my healing ability. And as I'm fending her off, my wounds start closing as I reach full HP once more. <coughs> yeah. So you just go on full uh, utility right now, no attacks. Yes. <coughs> uh, the demon doesn't give you any breathing room. She continues charging uh, towards you, like almost like a bull that, uh, the bull, uh, bull that sees red. She's uh, entirely focused on you right now. Uh, with another sharp uh, dash in, she suddenly uh, points both her weapons downwards and slams them into the ground. She lets them go for a moment and claps her hands in front of her, creating, creating a small shockwave. Give me a con save. Uh, you feel like your eardrums are about to pop from the sudden loud slam that uh, came uh, in front of her. However, you grit your teeth and manage to shrug it off. Uh, you felt like that was probably gonna bring you to your knees or uh, um, disorient you. However, you manage to get it out. She notices that it had no effect, so she immediately grabs her weapons and gets ready to fight you again. Um, I'm gonna turn to Horatius. Should we help her or keep up with the villagers? Morgana will get her out when she needs to go. Alright, if you're sure. I don't think Lucy even knows who Morgana is. <laughs> Yeah, but the key is I said it with confidence, that's, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll learn... I'll ask later. He said that Morgana will get her out. It's just probably an, just another human that I haven't met yet. <laughs> I'm sure Lucy and Morgana are gonna be the best of friends. Exactly. <laughs> She's not gonna try attempt to uh, crucify me or anything for heresy. It's fine. No, I'm gonna try and you. purify you and exercise you, yeah. Oh dear. Okay, you've done yes. two press-ups, now press the demons out of you. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, continuing to hurry away with the villagers. By the way, do I notice the shadow being cast over us by this point? Uh, nope, you are way too focused on your fight, because one quick slip-up means death right now. That's true. Uh, let's start spinning key. By the way, I can, given that Amos is fucking over Morgana, I suspect he's not going to lend me that power anymore either. Oh no, after you dicked him, he seems like he's vengeful, who knew? Yeah, so I don't have rage anymore either. Fuck, I could have given me extra nope. breathing room. <laughs> right, I'm going to apply my talismans to myself. These are... uh, here's the thing, you can forcefully activate rage, but that means that you're gonna have to give him more control over you. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Fuck him. He's he's fucked with me the last time. But yeah. I mean, to be fair, you're the one that fucked with him. He's just getting back at you. Right. Using this. <laughs> Since I'm not moving anywhere, I can use two. And I believe... One second, I gotta check. 
Did, oh, by the way, could you remind me, did my my healing talismans upgrade before, or didn't they? No, they haven't upgraded no. yet. Yeah, that's the ones I just took from Morgana, uh, not Morgana, my mother, yeah. Right, so yep. that's 40. Oh, B6, 17. And I'm gonna use a key to get back on defensive. The only thing I can do is a normal attack, and that's two attacks since I can't use anything else. Oh, no, it's not advantage anymore, never mind, it's 21 23. Yep, both hit. Nice. That's 9 and 10, so that's 19. You're still dealing non lethal, right? Yeah. Uh, you see that uh, she is getting very winded. She's starting to struggle to keep up her proper form. And uh, all the wounds uh, that she suffered previously begin to wear her down. But she refuses to fall over. Uh, she takes another sharp breath. And uh, charges at you once more. This time she doesn't get advantage. And she gets disadvantage since I activated my key. I only have two oh. key left. <laughs> This isn't good. She manages to hit you. You have 16, right? Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Once, but it's a critical. Oh, lovely. Right. So, as she strikes a critical blow, she deals normal damage. So, you take only 11. However, as your blood gets splattered all over the place, you see her horns flare up. Suddenly, she lets out an animalistic battle cry, and you see her get invigorated by it. Instead of uh, backing off uh, so she can um, re uh, reattach, um, uh, uh, I mean not reattach, I mean um, uh, reposition herself, she continues charging forward with uh, renewed vigor, and makes two extra attacks. <laughs> with bullshit. advantage. So that's normal then? So she has normal yeah, attacks, she... yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so let's see the two attacks. None of them hit. So you got lucky there. Oof, so I'm dodging these very wide, within rage like swings. You see that with the last swing, she put a little much, uh, uh, a little bit too much force behind it. Her body is uh, completely off balance. It takes us, it takes her longer and longer to get back into position. You I... see that her eyes are getting kind of cloudy. At some point, she's, her vision is actually starting to fade as well. Right. What I am going to do is use my bonus action in order to step. First, I'm going to attack. One second. I'm going to spend one key to attempt to stun her, so she has to pass a con save of 16. Ooh, she barely makes it. Damn it. Wait, I'm going to force her to roll, roll... No, wait, is that luck? Yeah, I think I can make her force her to roll it again. If I got luck. Can you? Yeah, I can. Yeah, that's luck. Basically, it's bad luck for her, not me. She failed. Yes. So what do you do? Right. One second, I got to check. Stunning strike. Cannot move. Talk talks bad. Fail strength and dex saving foes automatically attack or throw advantage. Auto crit melee attack. So in other words, she's like, Ugh. she's completely stunned. Like you I managed to block her flawlessly, and in that small moment, she loses focus entirely. She is, for all intents and purposes, stunned. She has no idea where she is. In her, um. In her haste uh, condition, she instinctively begins flailing her arms trying to hit something. However, she is flinging her arms at air. And eventually she tires herself out and just stands there open. Giving you a huge advantage. I'm gonna spend my last key to unleash my last two attacks in flurry. Which, oh, basically, oh, an advantage, never mind. Just checking, yeah, they hit. And so they quit as well. Two, that's twenty. One, two. Cool. 
And also, I'm going to use my very... No, I don't need key, because I use flurry, yeah. So then, on a flurry, I push forward back 15 feet, strength save. Since she can't make a strength save, I automatically throw her back 15 feet from a powerful straight punch. Gotcha. So, yeah. All through the mud. As this happens, she collapses uh, on the ground. She is breathing heavily. You're not sure if she is done or if she is going to get back up. However, you don't have time to worry about that. As you hear a sound whizzing through the air, you turn to realize that there's a huge ship in the air. And that's ah. when you remember where you last heard that sound. Your hands stand on in, a chill runs up your spine. This area is about to get bombarded. The cannonballs are already in the air. And you are straight in the line of fire. You have to save yourself. Bye. I... Oh. If I'm gonna save myself, can I... As I'm dashing forward, can I pick up the Oni and run? Uh, if you want to just save yourself, I'll allow it, but if you want to try to help her, that's gonna make things much more difficult. I'm gonna need some rolls for that. Fair enough. I'm okay. I will do it. Right, first of all, make, make me a dex roll to see how fast you are on your feet. Yes. Excellent. Now make me a strength roll because you need to, well, help her. That's, that's good. Uh, are you sure you don't want to roll? Okay. <laughs> if you can. I will. Nope. Okay, that made it worse. I Whoops. can pick. I can actually pick either, so I pick the 13 since it's closer. Okay. By the so, way, I do have uh, talismans. You are, you are very nimble and quick. You can get there fast. However, picking her up is an entirely different story. She is pretty heavy for her size. Probably most of that due to the armor and uh, her equipment, but let's uh, let's not go into that too much because you know, lady is secret. <laughs> she is out for the moment because you stunned her, meaning that she is pretty much dead weight. That's gonna slow you down a lot. The bombs are already starting to hit the village. The carnage is spreading. You're gonna have to make me another deck save. By the way, can I gain advantage if I use the talismans as reactionary things to basically try covering me? Yes. Cool. So I gain advantage or...? Yes. Ugh, I'm gonna have to re-roll. 17. That's good, but fuck me. That's, that's it. Ugh. Uh... Right. You lose your monk ability to reduce damage because you're basically trying to protect another person as well. So I'm gonna say, uh, with that roll, uh, are you okay with taking half damage or do you want her to take half damage from the attack that's gonna bombard the village? I'll take half damage. Right. So using some uh, cover you can find and using your speed to get out of the way of the main cannons, you are going to take... Let's see how lucky you are. Actually, roll me a D100 real quick. <laughs> no, this is not damage, it's something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're lucky. <laughs> right. You're gonna take only... Uh, you're gonna take only 31 damage. Ugh. Are you alive? Yeah, I'm alive. I've got 16 health left. <laughs> Also, Experta, once you reach zero HP, you don't just die. I know. I'm just saying. Alright. <laughs> I don't know how much health he has left. Yeah, I, mean, I have 16, so it's fine. I'm right. still rushing. Uh, you get basically buried under the rubble as the attacks uh, and bombardment continue for a little bit longer. Eventually, they begin to clear out. The ship is obviously getting closer, but that you wouldn't know about that since you're buried under the rubble. Beside you, uh, you hear a very faint... Just a second. Uh... Right. Uh, beside you, you hear a very uh, muffled and uh, pained voice that's barely squeezing words out. 
it's the only from earlier who is apparently who has apparently been shaken awake by what just happened as you can imagine of all <laughs> things uh, yeah shit flew out holy she shit. just uh she just once again says rearm and uh, her clothes uh, once again change um uh, and with them she uh is wearing actually a lot less armor and then she just um uh puts her arm to the rubble and says gravitation reverse and with that you see the robo starting to fly off towards the heavens making sure that uh, you guys can get out safely from under the robo <laughs> understood she, with a faint, faint groan she gets back to her feet and once again points her weapon at you iris gets up as well holding her side like she's clearly like her backs will be all singed and everything by this point if you run now, I am in no condition to follow you. Uh, I think all this once, I'll take the loss. She says, she starts stepping back to go away. By the way, my name is Iwa Shirokawa. She just stares at you not saying anything. She seems to be conflicted. If she's not going to say anything, then Iris is going to start w he walking away at a nice little pace. <laughs> As you're starting to walk away, she suddenly crawls out. Wait! She stops. Why did you try to help me? What do you mean? <laughs> Why? Don't make me repeat myself. Why would you help an enemy? Just because we're enemies doesn't mean I can't respect you. Fight well, and you save those people who are worth I saving. I don't understand. And besides, it's just what I do. Kind of run off instinct, you know? <laughs> Your instincts told you to save me? Yeah. Yeah, they did. I've never heard of such a thing. Instincts, instincts are what pushes you to protect yourself, to fight. What you did is irrational. Uh, I don't know how ever, ever way to put it. I've always been like this. It's just who I am. <laughs> Amelia. Hmm? Oh. My name. It's Amelia. It was nice fighting and meeting you, Amelia. Hope we meet on better terms. By the way, from what uh, Alicia knows about Oni and what you guys are, uh, learned, uh, Oni are usually not given names. Like I said, they're treated only. They're not treated as people. They're treated as tools for war. So they're never given names. Hmm. Actually, very nice. Like. You have a name? She nods. Master was kind enough to give me one. You must have a kind master. Yes. I do not know a kinder person than her. I see. I won't intrude by asking again who they are. I expect you wouldn't give it to me anyway. <laughs> You've already met her. Aren't you the one that destroyed her weapons? Her? Uh, you mean the very one that just flattened this town? She nods. Kind. Yet you would aim at civilians. Hmm. I don't think I wish to ruin this moment by calling out your master on such a thing. Let's leave on good terms. So you have a feeling we will meet again. You should leave the Western Isles while you still can. She's not going to watch forever. I understand. Thank you for warning. She says as she is gonna start gonna walk off if she doesn't have any other questions. I see you no, she just idea. quietly watches that you her weapon still trained on you. 
I hope to see you soon, Amelia. She gives a backwards wave as she walks off. Please don't call me that. Emmy? Is that better? Like, she's good, for, she's good ways away at this point. Tools are not meant to have names. If you say it around too much, it will cause problems for my master. Well, I don't see you that way. And I don't care what other people think, generally. <laughs> if you cause problems for my master, I will not forgive you. Okay, okay. But still. Everything that's got to come up, she mutters to herself. Well, the ship is getting closer, by the way. Yeah, here it's gonna go. I have to leave. Tell your master I said hi. With that, she's gonna jog away. I'm wondering what Morgana is thinking about what just happened. <clears throat> she wants to fight, that's what she wants. Uh, <coughs> when she's not the one bleeding to death, she, she can fight. <laughs> uh, since you've uh, started to retreat, Amelia watches after you for a little bit longer, and when the area is fully secure, she sits down and pretty much passes out, since she doesn't know how to treat her wounds, and unlike most demons, she cannot regenerate. So those wounds are there to stay un until somebody takes care of her. I don't notice this, do I? Am I too far away? Even if you did notice, it, there's nothing you can do about it. The ship is way too close at this point. Oh, and She's I not going to be along for long. I also spent all my talismans too, so... <laughs> Never mind, I can't do anything anyway. I literally have no luck, no key, and no talismans. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to head towards where the guys are, I guess. In the meantime, uh, since you guys have cleared the village and have had a little time while Eris was well busy, uh, you have met with your guide that has actually stepped out of the city and come to greet you under, well, these uh, unusual circumstances. And you'll notice that your guide seems to be, well, um, there's something about them. You can't quite uh, put your finger on it, but uh, she seems a little different, a little special, if you will. Is it the chin? Hey! What? Twice? <laughs> 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 <laughs>